Hey guys, I'm Pempy66. Now I'll bring this video to you. There's a few things I want to discuss in the video. Uh, firstly, um, I won't be posting many videos in the next few weeks because my Blu-ray drive is on its way out. Okay? Shut up, suit voice. I can't hear myself talk. Now you'll notice in this gameplay that it might pause. The audio might go out, out of sync. And the telltale signs that your Blu-ray drive is on its way out well basically your lens I've tried cleaning it with proper isopropyl al alcohol with cotton wool buds and I've, I've done it three times right and I know from experience if, if your computer is playing up it won't load your games or the, the crashing it's either just simply a dirty lens which is something that I'll just get this guy it's one thing I love about this this is crashes too by the way it's, it's, it's lab rat and I'll go into more how I recorded it and why it looks so crisp in a minute. But in the next few weeks, I, will have, I probably won't be out of you know recording the videos because the games just won't load. You know, I had a struggle with this one. I've been noticing lately that Crisis 2 and 3 will not load properly. And then all the rest of my games have followed suit. So I'm, I'm pretty pissed off right now, you know. I'm running a gaming channel. And another thing I want to point out, 60 quid if I want Crisis 3. It came out in February. How do they justify an extra 20 quid for a, a digital-only game that's no, not much different to the one you'll buy in the shop? You know? If you get a pre-order bonus game in, in the shop, you know, you might get um, some some bonus gifts like weapon skins and things like that. And... and um, it's like the hunter pack you, you got the predator bow straight off and you was up to level five straight away but you know this is one thing for the future they need to they need to stop taking the piss really i don't know if xbox are the same but when a brand new game comes out and it's say 39.99 in the british shops in english shops you know english pounds how do they justify 59.99 yeah? how did they do that but anyway I know what I have to do in order to carry on putting videos on YouTube um, and that's to get my Blu-ray drive replaced. I, I, I've looked at, up how to do it and, I, and I've already took mine apart, you know, to see what goes where and everything. It's not it's not that hard, it's just fiddly. Anyway, it's all come at a time as well when I've been doing these recordings. I've been, if, if anybody's on my PlayStation friends list they'll notice oh there's Pemby again he's on crisis 2 he's on crisis 3 that's all he's ever on you might have noticed that you might not but the reason is I'm trying to show you just how using other, other software as well as your capture card software you know what the, the advantages are now this this gameplay is is in HDMI from the PlayStation 3 my capture card oh, hang on hang on just kill this Ted <laughs> like this sniper rifle there we go um, this is HDMI and um, I've used a program called Bandicam and what Bandicam does is record the, the DirectX output which is what this is but you have to have your capture card software running at the same time right so you just click on the capture card software window while it's running and it and it says media capture game look for that it's the same with fraps it's the same with dx3 but i find this for my computer system at least is the most reliable and what i mean by that is if you try to use them the uh, most you know say basically use a lossless codec you're using more cpu power and so the video is not going to be have as many frames and a lot of the time it'll be all broken up and jerky so i'm using a codec that comes with um Bandicam and it's called Motion JPEG. So if you've got a Core 2 Duo processor or thereabouts, I would recommend using that codec with this program. I've got the full version. You can download it free to try, honestly, and it's not that expensive. But anyway, that's how this looks the way it does. It records far better than any capture card can record from a console, I mean. So it looks more like it's PC, it's superior graphics brother, you know. And more on a par with it. 
So if you see any gameplay, say a walkthrough of this game for instance on PlayStation 3, it's come via a capture card from the component cable setup. So you never ever, even if you could record PlayStation 3 and HDMI, you're never going to get the quality that you're seeing now. And I've got this on the soldier level and these guys when you drop them they just pop back up again and you don't expect it. But um, this was recorded like I say with the motion JPEG codec and um, it's now saved as a WMV. So you know this it still looks way better than recording in component from your capture card. You know if you don't if you don't agree then you need your eyes testing. I just had uh, a message from the great Sackmeister himself. He insists on playing Fight Night Champion and expects it to be a good game. When the game is full of assholes, it's full of knobheads. <laughs> I mean, I'm not perfect myself, but I'm saying that because it's the mo one of the most competitive games out there. And, you know, it's one of them where people will try the best to win, to do, to do anything any exploitative um, techniques possible what's this and he, like I say the, the audio goes out of sync and when I go in this building which I've cut off I'm mean, not gonna see that anyway he walks into this this room where there's ammo and the room's got no bleeding walls in it you know <laughs> everything all the graphics are fucked up so I'm a very pissed off MB 66 enjoy the rest of this bit of a gameplay I don't know if it'll actually show you him going in that room uh, the gunplay and the gameplay and the graphics in this game it, I, I bought this for a tenner in a shop and it's worth it's worth a look you know if you've never played Crisis 2 or Crisis 3 you know have a good go what's he doing I think he, he thought it was Michael Jackson <laughs> he was trying to moonwalk then or something anyway, it's going, when I go in this room Look, see, <laughs> that's that's when you know your PlayStation Blu-ray drive is fucked. Anyway, I'm Pemby66, I'm quite pissed off. I, I want to carry on putting videos out there. I can still do tutorials, no problem. So I'll do my next video, probably a uh, tutorial based on Bandicam, what I'm using, and at what, what, what you can do with it, you know? So I'll just go over it. If you want to capture in HDMI, Run your capture software, set your PS3 up for 720p and HDMI also, and uh, basically that's it. Run, run Bandicam at the same time, well, you, you click on Bandicam first, and it just captures the gameplay like this. Anyway, there you go, I got a bit pissed off there. <laughs> Catch you later. As always, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. This is Pemby66 signing off.